<sighs> this video never gets old. Or does it? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do something that I haven't done in a while and I feel like there's just so much to get off my chest to talk about and also just why not? I'm gonna be doing a video again where I'm gonna be answering questions that you guys have asked me that I've probably been avoiding. I'm not gonna lie, I un... Is it unconscious? Conscious. I think I consciously always, always ignore questions that I get asked. Um, not meaning to, but I just feel like certain things I don't really normally feel ready to talk about or I don't want to talk about. So for this video, I'm basically going to be exposing myself and answering your most asked questions that I avoid. I feel like we all know the gist of this video. I've done it a million times before, but they always seem to get more and more juicier uh, as you know more about my life. So someone said, would you date someone older than you? This is a really a question I've been avoiding because I'm quite open and honest. Oh it's something I've been avoiding because I feel like I'm really open and honest with like my type and like everything like that. I probably would. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'd probably date a boy that's at least, well not at least, but max two years older than me. I feel like where I am in my life now, I've been brought up around a lot of adults and I've been brought up quicker than normal people my age. And I do feel like sometimes when I meet boys that are a little bit older than me, they're just that little bit more, I wouldn't say mature, because no boy's really mature still, but they're just a little bit more grown up, and I quite like that. So I sometimes, I mean, I've kissed a boy that's a year older than me, but more than that, no, nothing older. But I probably would date someone older than, someone a year older than me, yeah. I, I mean, I would, yeah. Have you ever considered quitting social media? I haven't, to be fair. I feel like I've always wanted to do this and it's one of the things where you just keep going and it's such a passion of mine that I don't see why I would quit because I love it so, so much. Um, and no, I've never really thought of like, oh, I need to quit, I wanna quit. I just do it. Well, let's tell you, I'm so tired, I'm so burnt out. This is horrible. What is your favorite comfort food? I'm gonna get so much hate for this, but I love giant what's it's or pancakes. Pancakes or like crepes, like Nutella crepes or giant what's it's are like, giant what's it's are my favorite things in the world. It's so weird, I love them. But I also do love a crepe. I think a crepe's really good. Hardest thing about being an influencer? I would say for me, it's just the constant people thinking they know you when they don't and that's not in like a in like a follower way that's in like a hatred way like people claim they like they people say they like things about me and everyone jumps to like yeah that's true like people could say like I'm a snob and then everyone will be like yeah she's a snob I also don't like when people take clips and don't like show a full video of me to then make me look bad um and also when people just give me really uncomfortable questions like are you rich and then expect me to answer that like whatever I answer I'm gonna get called a brat or I'm gonna get called a liar so I just think sometimes people don't really take into consideration that I actually do have feelings and not just me but anyone in the public eye or anyone that has social media does have genuine feelings and sometimes I feel like people can just take advantage of that and kind of twist and manipulate things we say oh Luton just got Someone said, are you okay mentally? For me, I feel like I'm at a very high point of my life right now. I've got a lot going on, I'm super busy, but I would say I'm extremely burnt. I'm extremely burnt out and I just really, really do need, don't need a break, that's really far, but I just need a few days to kind of just get back in a routine because I feel like so much has happened. I went away, I then had like beauty walls day after day and I'm just so run down and tired. I think like, everything going on with my eye problem with my eyelashes and then like I'm just very run down in myself I'm so tired I'm so low on energy I just kind of need a few days to myself but I wouldn't say like I'm not okay mentally I just say I'm pretty burnt out right now and got a lot of like not pressure but I've got a lot of things going on and like a lot of deadlines that I'm missing because I just need a break in a way um yeah I'm fine 
Someone said, are you going to do a meet and greet? So if I can finally announce this, I'm actually doing a meet and greet on the 16th of December. I'm not too sure when this video comes out, but I'm super excited that I get to do a meet and greet with Too Faced. And it's a very, very exclusive, tiny meet and greet. There's not many tickets being sold. And this is purposely because I really want to make the people there feel super, super special, have that time with me, but also have certain things going on with Too Faced where you can like have really cool experiences and really get to feel like your own influence and I really wanted to make this as special as I can for these certain people and I think we've got a very very good ideas lined up and I'm really excited but yeah I do someone said do you have just one best friend and I wouldn't say I just have one best friend me and Scarlett are extremely close I honestly don't have a friend that I could count as much on as Scarlett other than Jude Jude is like my best friend but annoyingly he's moved away now and we don't get to see each other half as much as we used to so I think me and Jude are probably as close probably not let's do with the traveling probably and he lives such a busy life now I'd say Jude and Scarlett are like my best best friends yeah put them before anyone else someone asked me did you lose any natural lashes with your extensions on Hi. I personally wouldn't say I've lost any lashes since having lash extensions for two years. The only problem with my lashes now is they're dead straight and they cannot they cannot be curled. Like if I curl them, they'll go back down straight again because of the glue and the power and the impact of the heaviness of the fans. They've kind of just pushed my lashes so minimal. So I've ordered some new serums. I've ordered so much stuff praying that this will work and it will help me out. And I hope it does. Um, but yeah. I don't think it's actually made me lose any of my natural lashes. I think it's just kind of damaged them so that they're quite flat now. Would you do anything differently if you could go back? I definitely feel like with certain situations, I wouldn't retaliate as much as I did in the past. And I don't know, we all make mistakes, but I think everything does happen for a reason. And I'm really grateful to be in the position to be able to say like, yeah, okay, maybe I shouldn't have said that, but the outcome of it was okay. Or I don't know, there's certain things that I've done in the past that I don't really recommend doing yourself but i wouldn't change anything i'd probably just change oh let me let me put myself on a booster because i feel like i'm quite small right now i would probably just change like the things that i made myself become when i was in a relationship with my previous ex it sounds stupid but like i was very very insecure i was very like i don't know what the words are but like i wasn't in a good place whatsoever and i do believe i relied too much on a boy to make me happy than myself and that was really really shown but i think everyone so if i could change anything i'd definitely just go back and change the way i started off in that relationship and even how it ended kind of vibe like there was so much i wish i could change why do you always want to be in a relationship i actually think this is really not true um i like i'm still so young and i don't really feel the pressure anymore when i was in like year eight i feel like everyone was getting relationships i wanted a boyfriend but i'm at the stage in my life now where like honestly i don't think i'd have the time to be in a relationship i've got too much going on i'm too focused on myself to think about boys and there's been so many boys recently that have kind of like that sounds really big headed i didn't mean like so many boys but there's boys that i've like texted here and there and I just personally don't see myself being with any of them. And I am at this point in my... I don't feel ready and nor do I want to rush into anything with people that I don't genuinely love and want to be with. I won't. How are you and Tallulah? Me and Tallulah are good. I'm seeing her next week. She's sleeping around my house. And honestly, I'm so, so excited. We're going to have so much fun. And I literally love that girl with my whole heart. And I really, really hate that people want to try to bring us down and make some kind of, like, problem between me and her. There is nothing. I love her so much. Someone said, are you going to get an actual job? Um, I do find this question really, like, not rude, but it's just a bit like, what the hell? Like, the job I do now obviously isn't a standard nine-to-five job. Honestly, I don't know what is happening to my camera, but every single time I film at the moment heating is getting too hot in this room i swear and it literally just overheats my camera that's that question someone said are you gonna get an actual job my job now is classified as a real job i get money i make money it's not an average nine to five job no but it's still a job so this is a job i don't need to get an actual job someone said how did you and sienna become friends i don't feel like this is either another one that i've even hid i just probably haven't said um i think i followed them they followed me and then I either sit into their DMs or they sit into mine and then we became friends. I added them to Snapchat and I feel like when you just add someone to Snapchat you get to know them deeper level because especially when they add you to their private story I think I added them to mine straight away and yeah 
I literally love Sienna. I love Kira. Best girls ever. Someone said you're a type. I keep blabbering on about brunette boys because I've always fancied blondes and I finally realised brunette boys are super fit. But I still wouldn't say I don't fancy blonde boys because I still do fancy blonde boys. So I don't really have a type, as in hair colour. I just think someone who like knows what they want in life is really attractive and also like they're quite like confident. I don't want to be with a boy that's like quite shy because I'm very, very confident and outgoing and I need someone to like on my level now, you know? Before I didn't mind shy boys, but I feel like I'm at this point in my life where I'm like, yeah, I need someone that's gonna be able to shout with me because I'm quite loud. Um, someone said, what tan do you use? I use the baddest bod tan. It's incredible. I get so many compliments with it. I actually need to order myself some more because I'm on my last little bit now. But it's incredible. It does such a good job. And yeah, you should definitely get your hands on it. Someone said your celebrity crush. It's never changed for three years now and it's still a Milksmith fro. I love him with all my heart. And I think he's just incredible. So I fancy a mill. But I also really fancy Jude Bellingham. I think he's super good looking. But besides footballers, no, I really don't. I don't really look at anyone at the moment and think like, oh, he's so fit, that's not a footballer. I just really fancy footballers. Do you like being single? I wouldn't say like I like or hate it, but I just kind of enjoy not having to worry about anyone else but myself. Like it kind of gives you that extra bit of freedom, not to be like some hoe or anything, but just to kind of like be your own person and not have to worry about anyone else and just waking up in the morning and like, not having to think, oh, I've got to I've got to reply to them. Like it's in your own time. Obviously, you have to do that because, like, I wake up and I'm like, oh, my manager just texted me. But it's not the same. It really isn't the same. Like I literally just remember thinking, like, I don't have to do anything that I had to do in a relationship anymore. And as much as it's like, oh, I like the thought of having someone there. Sometimes it's quite nice not to have them there. If that makes sense. I also said your relationship status. I'm literally like as single as can be right now. I'm not talking to anyone. I'm not with anyone. I went on a date like a month ago. Nothing came from it. Yeah, no. I, I literally am single as, as can be. I don't really feel like I'm in... Yeah, no. I just don't really feel like any of these boys I've chatted to are really like... Me, you know? Uh, locked in next season. I keep getting asked about this. Um, I think it's probably because Case has gone on there and she's quite young. I would love to do locked in, but I think I'm still too young next year, so it has to be the year after. But when I'm 18, I'll definitely go on locked in if I got the opportunity to. I think it's really, really cool. And it looks like it's only getting bigger. Like, I didn't realize how big it was this year. Um, I personally haven't really watched a full season of it yet. So next year, maybe that's going to be my year to watch it all. I know what I'm going into. But yeah, no, if they ever gave me the opportunity, I would definitely love to go on locked in. Still close with Grace Conda. I have not really been close to any of the girls from UK Youngers whatsoever since probably nine or ten um there was no reasoning for it we're still all friends but i wouldn't say we're like close like we was at a point me and grace used to face like every single night and i think when we come out of lockdown that's when UK Youngers kind of split because we all had to go back to normality lives and FaceTiming every day on house party from 9 in the morning to 10am the next morning basically we used to literally just have like all nighters every night is not possible and when we went back to normal life I think we all kind of went our own ways but not even in like we had beef and we had to separate it was literally just like we all okay this is literally not working being over there it just keeps restarting itself and it's really bugging me so I'm going to answer the questions from here for the last few someone said ops on Danny Aaron's as I said I haven't really watched much of Locked In so I'm not like entirely sure on how he come across on there or who he really was from what I've seen, he seems like a really cool guy. And yeah, no, I probably watch more like Angry Ginger in Philly than I have Danny Aaron's. But I like the look. I think he looks really nice. And I love Tennessee and clearly likes him. So, well, not in that way, I don't think. But I like friends, so I like him. Someone said reality of not going to school. I think people want me to be like, I'm so bored, I'm doing nothing. But honestly, I've been so busy and I haven't even had time to think about like what my life would be like if I was at school because I just know when I look at my friends that go to sixth form, it makes sense why they go to sixth form. But for me, it was never making sense why I'd ever have gone to sixth form. So I feel like I'm really happy that I'm in the position I'm in to be able to not have gone. Um, but I just think everything that's working, everything that's going on right now just works so well. I just feel like I need to give myself a little more of a break because before, like at school, school was not as hardcore as this. It's like I did less work at school than I've done 
working a day here like it's so bad I literally did no work at school and I do so much more even at home now which is crazy and the last question is if your ex came back would you date him again that is a no I think we both know that it would never work and I just think like as much as I actually don't hate him like I think people expect me to hate him I don't hate him but I just know that we both know it wouldn't work so there's no need in trying something that we've tried what three times before none of the times have worked why is it going to work this time it's not so i think i'm ready to just get on with my life and move on with my life um and yeah we don't we don't talk there's no need to talk because i just feel like when you're exes you don't talk but well some people talk to exes to be fair i talk to some of my exes but like we weren't really exes but you know what i mean uh but for me and him no i just think it's better we go our separate ways and we kind of forget about each other, I guess. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas. Please let me know in the comments down below. I love you guys so, so much. And I hope to see you very, very soon for my next video. Not tomorrow, but the next day. Bye, guys.